my name is Brandy Bravo, and I'm an actress and a writer living in New York City, and my ghost story is about the night that my great-grandma passed away. Uh, so when I grew up, I lived in West Texas, which is where most of my dad's family is from, including my great-grandmother, and I was really, really close to my great-grandma. Um, so it broke my heart when I was about 13. We moved to East Texas, clear on the other side of Texas. Um, and a couple of years after we moved, my grandma got really, really sick. Uh, so much so that my dad got a call from, you know, the family saying, you might want to come home. We don't know how serious this is, but, you know, it, it might be, it might be time. So my dad jumps in his truck and drives clear across Texas. It's a 12 hour drive. So he's just hoping to be able to see her before she possibly passes away. Uh, so that night I'm laying in my bedroom and I'm asleep and I'm woken up by this like beeping that's happening in my room. It's this very steady beeping and it sounds exactly like a heart monitor in a hospital. And I lay there with it for a couple of seconds just sort of taking it in and my I sort of realized that it's like my grandma's heart monitor, like intuitively I understand this. Um, and I lay with it for a couple of seconds, I look at the clock, it's 3.09 in the morning, and a couple of seconds later it just flatlines. And I, I know she's gone. And I fall asleep, and I wake up the next morning and I remember it, but I sort of remember it like it was a dream, like it was a, a bad dream. But then about an hour later we get a call from my dad and sure enough my great-grandma passed away uh, during the night before he even got to see her he didn't get to say goodbye but he said that at around three o'clock in the morning he's driving his truck and in his rearview mirror behind him he sees this single light like following him and at first he thinks it's maybe you know, a big truck or something, but he said there's not two headlights, it's just a single light. He thinks it might be a motorcycle, but he can't see anything, there's no vehicle. And then slowly but surely, the light starts to lift up, lift up, lift up, until he can't see it anymore, and then it's just gone. And so we sort of think that it was my grandma's spirit coming to visit both of us at the same time to say goodbye since we weren't there to say goodbye to her so it's not it's not really a ghost story but it kind of is